In this presentation, we'll be reviewing the anatomical structure of the paranasal sinuses. The sinuses can be defined as air-filled cavities located in the frontal, ethmoid, and sphenoid bones of the cranium, as well as the maxillae of the face. They are named sinuses because of their formation from the nasal mucosa and their continued communication with the nasal fossa. They function to serve as resonating chamber for the voice and also decrease the weight of the skull. They also aid in warming and moisturizing inhaled air and act as a shock absorber in trauma. It has even been proposed that they help to control the immune system. Development begins in fetal life, as the maxillary sinuses are usually the only ones developed to be demonstrated radiographically at birth. By six to seven years of age, frontal and sphenoids are distinguishable from ethmoids. The ethmoids do not fully develop until 17 to 18 years of age. The maxillary sinuses are the largest and most symmetric with one in each facial bone. They vary in size and shape, but are approximately pyramidal in shape. The frontal sinuses are the second largest sinuses, and they are paired. They're located between the vertical plates of the frontal bone and vary greatly in size and shape. It should be noted that they're occasionally absent and rarely symmetric. The sphenoid sinuses are normally paired and occupy the body of the sphenoid bone. Often only one sinus develops, but never more than two are present. They also vary in size and shape and are usually asymmetric. They can be found below the cella tersica and extend between the dorsum and posterior ethmoid sinuses. The ethmoid sinuses are located within the lateral masses of the labyrinths and are composed of a varying number of air cells, which are divided into three main groups. Anterior, which have two to eight cells, middle, which can also have two to eight cells, and posterior, which can possess two to six individual cells.